shoulder blade all the way down to your fingers. Feel like this is one massive piece. You're too big to fail. It just goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah, it feel. Do you feel like this is one huge piece, and you're just like, yeah. Does that feel like you're in control? Ah, yeah. Guys, that yeah. was gorgeous. That's what I wanted. And that then was my gorgeous. Thumb banged it out. <laughs> yes, well, so so here's the cruel joke of how we are designed. Yes. It's when we want to be really careful and control something, we have lost, we have just lost the control, right? And then if you think, okay, okay, I know, I know that I can relax and just let it be, that's when you have the control. Yeah. And yeah. so what it is when we practice breathing, breath work, is we are training our bodies to feel what it's like to let go. And letting go is like one of the most tiring things you can do. It is the most tiring thing you can do, is to figure out how to let go and relax. So, um, so keep, keep doing that when you're, as you're practicing. Every time you play that note, think about, you're too big to fail, too big to fail. And then, and then when you are performing it, hopefully that muscle memory will kick in. And then no matter how much you're thinking about all kinds of things up here, your shoulder blades and that stuff feels the weight. Yeah. So we have a lot of body weight to help us to settle the glitter. And and it's it's cool and this is the perfect piece to try it on. No, you want the mass. So if you think of it as you want to be a glacier that is big under mm -hmm. the surface. Because like you're immovable, yeah. you're strong, mm -hmm. you're huge, and then you just peek a little bit over the water. Mm -hmm. like, it's all like what's underneath that, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're touching it, you're barely touching it. It is like, yeah. And you guys can try this on your hand. Like, don't really do very much, but feel the sensation. Can you feel the nerves in your fingertips? Can you feel it connect? And can you send energy there? Mm -hmm. Yes? <coughs> yes? Anybody? Okay. So I'm not pressing. But if I'm tight, now tense up your arm, now try to send energy there. It's not possible, right? Physically, it is impossible to send energy there because it's stuck, it's blocked, right? So now try again to loosen everything up, breathe, find your breath, and send energy there without pressing, and you're just feeling it. So um, Cleveland Orchestra is absolutely famous for their pianissimos, right? And um, they just, they, they kind of fall into it. There is no effort. And it's the most intense pianissimo that I've ever heard. It's so intense. But they're allowing it, and they're sending energy. But there's no pressing. Now, with this big stuff, there's a lot of traveling in this piece, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what you can do is use a lot more arm stuff, you know, this kind. So when we're warming up with our muscles like this, this is the kind of piece that works well with this, right? So if you have wings and you go, that's the kind of sound uh -huh. that this freedom is going to get you. So let's let's try the beginning and just think think that you're like 50 feet wide, like you're just immense, and then you're just sending energy without even pressing. And breathe too. Sounds more like a mezzo piano. 
So I'm trying to hold back, yeah. which is not a way to ring a bell. Yeah. Uh, and also, holding back never really works because it just sounds like we're trying to be too controlling. Mm -hmm. So it has to be more piano. Mm -hmm. I find it's very different. Like with every person, 
their body thinks differently about things. And so for me, I think it's more important to think about the quality of your muscle engagement. Mm -hmm. So if you were thinking of a, as a bell, as a glockenspiel, versus if you're, if you're thinking of it as a French horn, if you're thinking of it as a violin, it would be totally different, yeah. right? Yeah. And so that's what I'm trying to do with, you know, the orchestral colors class is you have to like kind of make a decision with the instrumentation and the mm -hmm. orchestration so that in your mind, you're exactly clear on what the muscle engagement is. Mm -hmm. and the other part is listening to it. Yeah. Yeah. Because you might find that you'll find something accidentally that you really love. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then that would be 